Vessel, now the hottest ticket in town. There's so many different angles in this building. You know, it's like uh, an Instagram uh, paradise. Seeing the view from up there, beautiful. Did you take a lot of photos? Oh, for sure, and video. But in the age of social media, new rules at this new structure are catching many clicking away off guard. There aren't any signs posted around Vessel, but if you read your ticket, it directs you to the terms and conditions online. All those videos and pictures you just posted to social media Media can be used for free by Vessel's operator, ERY Vessel LLC. I hereby grant to company and its affiliates the right to repost, share, publish, promote, and distribute the Vessel media. And that's not all. Upon entering, you can be photographed, filmed, or recorded. And it can be used for advertising, marketing, and promotional purposes in all media and formats, whether now known or later developed. I mean, that's kind of crazy because you'd think that you'd have to sign a release for them to be able to do that. That's how social media is if you're put putting something out there for the world to see, then I feel like it's their piece. They have the right to take it. It's uh, disgusting. I would say it's overreaching. Craig Delsack is an entertainment and media attorney. That's not fair, because if you are the Annie Leibovitz of Instagrammable photos, you're going to want to be paid for that commercial use by somebody else. Councilman Ben Callos says he's taking action to try and change this policy. I don't think that Hudson Yard should be allowed to take somebody's identity or their photos and sell them, and that's why I'm introducing legislation in New York City to make it illegal. A spokesperson for Hudson Yards tells us they wanted to over communicate and be transparent. So, is there any way to protect your selfie at Vessel from being used by someone else? All the social media sites have their own terms and conditions, and even in their terms and conditions, says if you post a picture of something, we Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, get to use that image as well. If you are truly concerned, the only surefire way to maintain your rights to photos is to keep them offline. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.